tell me this guy doesn't look like a chef. You know, I go to the Food Channel and I see a 115 pound guy telling you, well, the mustard's not perfectly placed straight down, the food's not good. This is a guy who knows how to cook and he loves cigars, big wines, bourbons, and scotches, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Hi, Nick Perdomo from Perdomo Cigars. I'm always excited to talk about Perdomo Cigars, but today I'm equally excited about talking about great food pairing with Perdomo Cigars. And I know you probably can't tell by my girlish figure, but I love food. And today, the guest that I'm going to have today, I'm really excited about, it's Anthony Acampa, who's an incredible chef, has been a friend of mine for 23 years. So I'd like to introduce you to Anthony, who has a great YouTube channel called Fats Where the Flavor's At. Anthony, come on in here. Good to see you, man. Now, tell me this guy doesn't look like a chef. You know, I go to the Food Channel and I see a 115-pound guy telling you, well, the mustard's not perfectly placed straight down. The food's not good. This is a guy who knows how to cook, and he loves cigars big wines, bourbons, and scotches, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Exactly, like Nick said, he and I go way back, about 23 somewhat years. Uh, yes, we both do like food, hard to believe, but true. Um, I've been living the last 27 years in the wine business. I just recently started this YouTube channel as a means to give me an opportunity to share my love and passion of great food and great wine. Uh, to be able to do this now with Nick and bring in great cigars is an unbelievable treat for me to be able to do it in front of you, all of his audience. And Nick, if it's all right with you, let's get busy. Yeah, what are we going to do let's today, start there, Chef? Well, you know, we, we want to have something of a theme. Uh, you know, I just thought red meat, red wine, and great cigars. It's as simple as that. Uh, so we're going to play with a couple of different things. I have a beautiful uh, Wagyu porterhouse steak. We're going to make it in a sort of an Italian version of the Bistecca alla Fiorentina. I have a gorgeous prime uh, tomahawk ribeye. And I've got two marinated uh, racks of beautiful New Zealand lamb. Now, for cooking purposes, for de uh, cooking demonstration purposes, I'm going to take you through what I put together in terms of this marinade. So why don't we just go ahead and make that? Now, we're... Anthony, before we start, yes, i got to tell you that I can't boil water, but I can eat some food. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And we're going to pair some special cigars with Anthony's great food. And we're going to let him go on, and we're going to continue on the succession at the end. We're going to eat, we're going to have great food, and we're going to pair it with great Perdomo cigars. And on this segment, we're talking about how important big food is with great big cigars. So I'll lead you away. And don't forget, we're going to drink some nice wines too. You know, when it comes to steak, when it comes to anything in terms of prime or wagyu or, you know, really beautiful steak, I like to do as little as possible. Salt and pepper, a very, very hot grill, a finish off in the oven, a set for a little while, a nice carve. Uh, maybe a little truffle butter on top, but very, very simplified. Let the meat speak for itself. When it comes to lamb, I like to play. Uh, so here, like I said, this is one of my favorite marinades. We're going to put it together. I'm going to start with some sun-dried tomato. I like the tang. I like the uh, sweetness that comes from these. I'm just going to put a few of those in there. Uh, one more. All right. Yes, yeah, so you'll see I don't do a whole lot of measuring. I kind of just go with what feels good. Uh, I've got some Dijon mustard. I'm gonna put about, if you will, about a tablespoon's worth in here. You know, Anthony, when we make cigars, a lot of times you go by feel too. It's not necessarily every cigar has two leaves depending on the cigar that you have. Sometimes you really gotta go by feel by the bunch of. I just found it's worked best for me. I just, it's, it's for some reason, I just kind of feel when it's right. So. I, Great little, uh, I saw the expression on a board one time in a restaurant, uh, speaking of Italians and when we cook, you know, we don't measure salt, we don't measure, you know, any type of ingredient. We just start putting it in and when we feel the good Lord tap us on the shoulder, we've known we've had enough put in. I just add some orange juice. Orange juice I like, it's the acid in the orange juice will help break down and tenderize the meat just a bit. Uh, salt and pepper. Just nice kosher salt. Again, not a whole lot of measuring going on. Fresh cracked black pepper. Let it rain. And, uh, Anthony, that looks really good, man. I'm gonna just go ahead and set that. I've got my little Nutra bullet here. Uh, 
and it's really as simple as that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pour this into a plastic Ziploc bag. I'll put my racks of lamb right in the, in the bag with it. I'll let it sit overnight, and as you can see, I've got two beautiful racks here that have been beautifully nestled in its marinade since yesterday. So these are gonna go on the grill. These two steaks are gonna go on the grill. Man, I'm hungry, it looks great, yeah. All right, let's go fire up the grill. All right. All right, we'll get it nice and hot, and we'll go ahead and sear these off, and uh, we'll be back with you guys in a little bit. Sounds good. This is a Wagyu porterhouse. First time I'm ever going to eat it, Anthony. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? It's, it's a beautiful cut of meat. Uh, you get the best of both worlds. I'm typically not a guy who likes filet mignon or tenderloin. I just don't feel that there's enough fat content to right. give me the Because flavor. fat is... That's where the flavor is at. There you go. But okay. it's complemented by a beautiful New York strip steak as well. And since we've got a ribeye in the oven still finishing off, I've got essentially three different cuts of meat that we're able to, to celebrate. Now, in Tuscany, in Florence, uh, the most known uh, beef dish there is the bisteca alla Fiorentina. Okay. Uh, what makes it bisteca alla Fiorentina is the fact that we have char-grilled the steak first. Chef, and, real quick, not to cut you off, how many ounces? This thing is massive. So about somewhere between 30, 32 ounces before we, uh, we hit the grill with it. And again, all we did was a little olive oil massage and some salt and pepper. So nice little grill, finished it in the oven, got it to where we hope is the right temperature. We're really excited about this. All right. Now, I love this wine. What is this? The wine is wonderful. Uh, true uh, old world Italian varietals grown in Sicily, uh, Cabernet Syrah and Merlot. Um, beautiful balance of all three grapes. Uh, you've got the fruit forwardness of the Merlot, you get the structure of the Cabernet, and you get that sort of spicy earthiness from the Syrah. And all those things really work well when you're pairing food with wine. You want to try to capitalize on as much and uh, many different flavor characteristics as you can. And this wine does a great job of delivering on all three. And, I, and I'll tell you what this wine does too. With the far fruit forward, it also works great on sun-grown wrapped cigars and Maduro wrapper cigars. So toast to you, Chef. Thank you. I'm looking forward to this. So we had an incredible meal. What's great after incredible meal is great rich cigars. So the 10th anniversary Maduro, which Anthony's smoking, uh, the 20th anniversary Sun Grown, which is one of my personal favorites, the 20th anniversary Maduro, which Nicholas is smoking, the 20th anniversary Connecticut, which I was smoking earlier, and the 10th anniversary Sun Grown. So I'm smoking the 20th Sun Grown. A lot of you guys know that's one of my favorites. And the chef decided to smoke the new 10th anniversary Maduro, and these pair real well. So I'm just going to go around the room. And Nelson, uh, how do you see that this 10th anniversary sun grow in the pairings with uh, Chef Anthony's meals? Well, you know, it's one thing when you're in Nicaragua and you're watching the rollers make this cigar, and it's another thing when you when you taste it and the flavors that it gives you. You know, I love the spiciness. Nicholas, how's that 20th anniversary Maduro go with the the Amarone? Oh, I think it's phenomenal. That it's. It pairs well. There's some sweetness with the, uh, with the with the wine, and then a little bit of the earthiness, a little bit of peppery from the cigar, from the Maduro cigar. So it really goes well. It's kind of like that ping pong effect, like you always say. Yeah. Really enjoying it. Yeah. Chef, that was a phenomenal yeah. meal, and together with this 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 really rich Italian wine, um, kudos to you, my friend. And I know you're smoking the uh, new tent. Anniversary Maduro, maybe you could bring some in. Yeah, no, I'd love to. I mean, listen, I've been in the wine business for 20 odd years. I've been cooking since I could reach uh, the top of a stove top. Uh, the word that comes to mind, uh, very important word when it comes to things I've uh, made myself part of, is balance. Uh, I, we, we strive for balance in wine. We want to strive for a nice blend of acidity, earthiness, spice, fruit, and what have you. And Balance is a perfect word to describe this 10th anniversary of Maduro. The dark, beautiful, rich wrapper provides a great deal of flavor. Uh, the touch of sweetness balanced out with the earthiness of the, of the fill is just absolutely stunning, and I am beyond grateful. For you know, that. together with these scores, could you tell us a little bit about that Amarone? That was excellent. Yeah, we have a fabulous producer in Verona where Amarone is, uh, is made. Amarone is a fabulous uh, expression of a variety of grapes, predominantly Corvina and Rondinella. 
Uh, the winery owner is a famed soccer coach, Alberto Malasani. He and his two daughters operate from this magnificent property in Verona, um, where uh, the process in making Amarone, for those who don't know, is the picking of the berries, drying them on racks in the sun till they start to raisin. Uh, what you get is a much, much less yield in juice, but that juice is incredibly concentrated and rich in sugars that convert to alcohol. So you have a wine, again, that, that shows great expression, great body, and a perfect complement to the rich flavors of the meats and the butters and the herbs that went into it, uh, as well, again, as the flavor from these incredible cigars that you produce. With that being said, Chef, thank you so much for having us. Wow, that was an incredible time. meal. A great pleasure. Guys, if you get the chance, please like and share and subscribe to Fats Where the Flavor's At with Chef Anthony. Like I said earlier, look, I promote things like fingers on my hand, not many, but I'm a big believer in his food. I've always told him that if he would come out with his own sauces and his own spices and ingredients, I'd be the first one in line to buy them. They're fantastic. And if you enjoyed this video, please go in to our website and our YouTube page at Pernomo Cigars. And please like, share, and subscribe them. And we'll give you more in uh, future information on not only great Perdomo cigars, but also great pairings like, like Chef Anthony and foods and bourbons and scotches and so on. And when you get a chance, please go to our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter page too. And thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. So I speak not only for Perdomo cigars, but for Nelson Cuba, Nicholas Perdomo, and Anthony Acampo. Uh, we really enjoyed having you guys today, so thank you so much.